Today is November 9th, 2012, and this is my 65-gallon Tanganyikan tank. It, it has seen uh, some ups and downs. It's on a rebound now. Last week was Hurricane Sandy here in New Jersey, and this tank was out of power for a full six days. Everything got really cold. Down in the lower left corner, I don't know if I can zoom in anymore. No, that's it. I'll have to come closer. There's only one Tanganacrotus Irsaci left. And he's down in that corner. I'm going to probably spook him. He's right down at the right down at the junction of that vertical rock. Let me see if I go to the side. If it can be seen. Uh, let's see. Where is he? I should zoom out. Oops. He's not moving. Here he is. I'm trying. I'm really doing a contortion. Contortion, because this is the side of the tank. Well, since I'm back here, oh, oh there he goes. I just spooked him. Anyway, behind the tank. I don't know if I can get back here. Ah. Here. See if we can see back there. Yeah, this is the back of the tank. All I have left is a pair of Julitochromus regani, and there, the, there's the nose sticking out from the rock there at the bottom. See it right there? And there's a pair underneath there. They've hollowed out. This is the biggest rock in the tank, and one, uh, the, uh, the, the 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 Gobi sickle, the Tangaticotus. It's the only ones left. Three there, and then actually I do have one Cynodontus. And I don't know where he's gone, but it's one of it's an upside down cat. And uh, that's it. Oh, I just saw some action there. The uh the Julitochromus just jumped all the way under. Here comes its nose sticking out again. Yep, he didn't like it. Ah, it's the upside down cat. He was under there. How about that? Huh. I was hoping I had a pair of the Tangaticotus left, but I don't see them. So I am very disappointed at that. Very interesting that the Cynodonis is going under there. I wonder if it's... These guys have never seen any fry, so maybe... Maybe he's been eating them all. So let me come to the front. Today I just added this little circulator. It's a... Uh, it spins around. It's got lots of bubbles on it. This tank is purling like crazy. And... Uh, ever since I... Hook turned it back on after the power failure. You can see the algae on the rock. It's making a comeback. This was really lush before, but now I had a whole bunch of blue-green algae. There is some black brush around. I've removed 65 pounds of rocks. They're down here in this bucket. Out here. See here? I took them out because I was looking for dead fish and I just never put them back and some people were wondering how many pounds of rock I had in this tank. So if this is 65 pounds from what I took out, you can see the gap. See where there's bare rock showing in a rectangular area right up here. That was in the shadow. Same with up here. That was in a shadow of a piece sticking across there. I'm going to guess there's between 200 and 250 pounds of rock, if not more. This piece right here is not the heaviest, but it's the second heaviest. This base piece, if you look on the, on the, uh, on my, what do you call it, the, the thread for this tank, on Planet Tank or even on uh, the New York Cichlids.net, you'll see what this rock looks like. It spans 18, it spans the tank. You've got three quarters of an inch between the front and the back. That's all, that's the only space. It's very big, very heavy. There he is. There's the Tanganacotus. He's down behind all the Valisneria. But the Valisneria is purling and so is the algae. All I have, all I've done is some water changes. I have not, I do not use uh, carbon dioxide this is a Tanganyikan chemistry tank. I use Seachem uh, Tanganyikan buffer and uh, the lake salt 
uh, with deionized water so I'm mixing it up according to their package directions I really haven't tested it recently so now my question is what am I gonna do to the tank am I gonna add more fish Am I gonna take out all the rocks and really clean it if you look down in the gravel I don't know if you can let's see if this now nah, the rooms too dark so you can't really see you can see some algae down here looking pretty good I did have blue green algae and I know that that pearls and I don't think that this is blue green because this tank this is Friday so on Monday when I turned it on the blue green started I mean the uh, the green algae started growing and it, it's it does seem to be covering over I can see it day by day really taken off there are a couple patches if you look right here on the back rock right in that area that's I'm pretty sure that that's black brush algae but it's just immature I used to call it brown felt algae but I don't know it's all along here let me move the, the cord it's all along the face of this rock every once in a while you see a couple of tufts that look like blue green I mean uh, BBA so we'll see now in the meantime well I'm gonna I'm gonna stop this yeah how do I stop there no nope.